Hello, everyone. Welcome to Votino. This is our nail marathon live. I got a bunch of designs that I need to accomplish within these couple of days. I have only two Wednesday before I have to go to Vegas. And I got 24 different designs that I have to get it all done. So this is an emergency live. We have to start tonight. There is 24 design. Before I start it, I want to show you this is a Tino live stream on WhatsApp. Just in case you haven't joined yet, this is a group that you can join so you can get alert from me whenever I go on live. Okay, now we have to start right away. I have so much work to do. 24 design. I am going to pick uh, the first one and then we're just going to go for it. So let me show you again these and I got these and I got these. I gonna Oh, and then we're going to use new product for that too. We have a couple of new product. Look at that one. All right. So I'm going to start with the first one, Dragonfly. You said emergency. It's an emergency, emergency live. Yes. Live. I almost want to do this alone since it's going to be faster, but uh, I cannot miss a live. I got to go on live. Because what, what fun not to go on live. Just for YouTube watcher and everybody that uh, rewatch a live, they can get a chance to learn about product and such. All right. Let's start with this dragonfly design that I use. Um, I use a new bubble gem collection and I also use a new milky art gel. So let's take it out. This is our new milky art gel and bubble gems. I'm going to use the bubble gem crystal kit also for the dragonfly and pink gel colors it's moderate tara oh tara's on too right away oh <laughs> hello tara and we just don't gonna do one screen today quick and easy i skipped the intro and everything just because my hair is not done I'm not dressing up or anything so, i am in full work mode so it's quick and easy quick and easy <clears throat> emergency live is emergency live i need um i need this rose mermaid chrome yeah one screen quick and easy yes. and plus you guys can see more product with one screen uh we're not gonna get traffic from the big page but that's okay you know you ain't gotta explain all that to them just let them know that this is not about the emergency is not gonna be about them it's about emergency for, you know, <laughs> emergency and we're not gonna be answering hot too much. pink tears here so you know Let's apply hot pink right on the thumbs. Yes, it's mainly for YouTube watchers so you, they can watch the replay. Okay, do I get, am. Do they get any kind of music on the background? They might, if you want to turn on music. Okay, oh, hear this. 60 seconds. Play a little bit hip hop from Pandora. We'll find hip hop from Pandora. Oh my goodness. Alexa. Down to nuts. So my question is this. What's that? We've never done an emergency live uh -huh. fast track or whatever else you said, half beaten path or, or, or and for YouTubes. Uh huh. So it's just gonna be strictly instructions, or is it gonna be any chitty chatty or strictly injunction with chitty, uh, with a little bit of chitty chatty, just like you sure. <laughs> Well, everybody said hello to you. you. You've not said hello to a single person. I haven't look at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> hello, everyone. 
And, and that from here on out, we're just going to refer to everyone as everyone and all. Okay. Apply some milky art gel. You can apply white art gel too. I just use milky because this design is in one of my promotional video. Oh. Now, art gel, you know that the new art gel, it is chrome friendly. So I apply this milky art gel on and I am going to rub chrome directly on it. Now, milky art gel is a little different than other gel colors because milky art gel is semi-transparent. So you can apply milky art gel thicker than any other gel, Abby. <laughs> Without top coat. Why did you like say this? her name? Cause she loved to apply it without top coat. Like this stomach of the dragonfly, you might think that it's a gemstone, but it's milky art gel. Okay, oh. let it sell level. Put it right here. Wait for it to sell level. This I'm gonna apply some purple pigment dry in the middles. Mm. Well, hello, Shy J Bird. It's the first time watching, and, and now we're getting judged on a Shy fast, fast emergency, quick and easy live. Okay, so hot pink gel colors is what I use on the thumb, and my gel color can adhere pigments. So I am gonna use it to adhere pigment now. I need uh, a paper towel. Can, can, can I just ask one more question we're all probably wondering and then yes. I'll leave you alone and you know you can fast and hurry again. Uh -huh. So you said there's like 24 lives? Twen no, 24 had... designs. So 24. it will be 24 lives. Okay. Uh, tonight, I don't know how many lives I am able to do tonight. So my question is at what point do we, is it no longer emergency? No, it's, is it an emergency until the day I finish the oh, 24 okay. design? Alright, all 24 will Okay, be... now, I am going to cure the milky art gel. And I am going to apply my purple pigment out. Purple. Usually it's smoother with matte too. But I'm going to apply first on just raw gel colors. I am going to brush on a circle about yay much. I am doing a dragonfly now on the thumbs. The dragonfly is beautiful, honey. Thank you. So you want to twirl around until you have the oval that you want. Then you don't want too much pigment onto the brush. Dust out some. Uh -huh. And you want to blend it out lightly. If you have heavy hand, you should run over the paper towel a few times just to weaken out the amount of pigment on your brush so it's easier to blend. Blend out the bottom. Then blend out the top. Okay, and don't go too thoroughly on it. Just do your best at blending, and then I'll show you a trick to make the blend more smooth. Mm -hmm. Well, we like tricks. Now, let me show you first thing first. Okay, this is what it looked like so far. Not perfect yet, but now I need purple to blend out even more. And it needs to be nice and light, okay? But solid purple is very hard to make it nice and light out here. So my trick is I'm going to get this white super pigment, okay? This white super pigment is a thinning agent. So what I do is when it's on the pink, when I put on top coat, the white will disappear. So I'm going to take this white and mix into this purple. That is a thinning agent, so it separates the purple particle, okay? Right now, it looks like a pastel lavender, but when I put top coat on, the white wood is appearing, and all is left is a purple. 
So I am thinning the purple out with white super pigment. It's in a bottle like this. Okay. Now, make sure you look one last time at what this purple pigment look like on the surface. Okay. Not perfect yet. Now I'm gonna take that and I am gonna rub on the thinning purple. Rub that on. Ooh. Okay. At first, it looked chalky. But it looks could... like a cool Halloween moon in a way. Yeah. Now, what happened is in this mixture, they have purple pigment and they have white pigment. But when I put top coat on, the white will disappear. Okay. So I blend it out now. It will be easier for you to blend because it's already very thin. The purple is very thin. You don't have to have a light hand to do this. Let me, when I put on top coat, you know what I'm talking about. Right, it's gonna change on us, right? Yeah, it's gonna change on you. For any of those that love ombre, this is a trick that you can use. Okay, I am ready. Now, I am gonna put on top coat. Okay. Oh, that's glitters. <gasps> on your brush? On my brush. You want me to get you a new one? Get me a new one. That's glitter on my brush. I gotta run out of the factory. Must be chrome or something. Maybe they've gone away now. Okay, good, good, good. I think I got a problem saw before you saw it. That's it. But still, give me a new one anyway. Bad, Tino, bad. Well, we weren't expecting to do all this, baby. We just kind Tino of playing with some chrome earlier. Hard at it for 72 hours straight. And... Tino love glitter. Okay, now. Ready? I want you to look at this surface. You see how chalky it is? It because that's white purple pigment. That's purple pigment and that's white pigment. Now, let me see what my next step is. My next step is all chrome. So I have to have Teflon matte to make sure the chrome is not stick onto the background. <coughs> okay, Teflon matte right here is what I'm going to use. Non-sticky to chrome powders. I'm going to apply it right on the surface. Now look. See how the chalkiness right here. Go ahead and apply top coat on. You see? The chalkiness go away. And all it's left is a beautiful coat of purple. You see that? Mm. Even. That is some of the trick on ombre. It's to use a thinning agent. So the white super pigment is a thinning agent and it's thin out that purples. Okay. Now I'm gonna cure that. And then your client's probably gonna be sitting there looking at you the whole time going, oh, I don't know about this. Right. Just be like, oh, this purple is it's chalky, isn't it, Tino? You know? <laughs> like, shut up, Becky. Wait you... until you see it. <laughs> Maybe you should give her a harsh. <laughs> okay, so let's zoom it out. Now, we're gonna use Milky Art Gel to draw this dragonfly. It's gonna be very simple and easy. I'm gonna love the process. They wanna know why is it an emergency? It's an emergency because I have today, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to finish all of my set, 24 set. Then I have to have a day where I take video and pictures of that will be Monday but before that I have to bedazzle everything before I take video and pictures and then Tuesday um, hopefully that I'm get done with everything if not I continue to take video and picture and then I narrate because Wednesday I'm leaving I'm leaving for Vegas Wednesday okay let's take milky art gel out and draw um, it will be on very soon, Milky Art Gel. If it's not on already, um, we only have two mystery box left. So by tomorrow, it'll be sold out. And then 
are the new product going to emerge on the website? I am using the 10 millimeter painting brush for this. And then flip over, make sure that I'm center. You see, it's a little bit on the left. You have to be aware if you have an unlevel eye. I don't have a level eye, so people that doesn't have a level eye can relate. Sometimes when I draw, it might be a little further on the left or a little further on the right. An unlevel eye meaning you couldn't center. That's what I was wondering. What, yeah. What's the definition of that? Yeah, I couldn't center it because when the nail is down, I viewed it differently than when the nail is upside down. See the client angle this way. See, it's a little bit to the left, so now I add more to the right, so now it's even. See how I fix that? Let's elongate the dragonfly a little bit more. Okay, a long tails. And now, let's draw the wings. Let's use our curling brush for the wings. I'm using the curling brush. Okay, dip it into the milky art child. And start down here and press and lift. Now, our art gel new edition, all of our new edition art gel, Remember our old art gel where you can paint without top coat, but it have to be really thin. The new edition art gel, you can paint it slightly thicker. Abby. <laughs> Abby love to paint it without top coat. And the milky art gel, however, you can paint it even thicker than that. Because it's semi-sheer. See the thickness? Yeah, I create the new art gel to what um, is safer on the on top coat surface. You don't have to try hard to make it thin. I feel like this dragonfly is very <coughs> easily achievable and has a lot of reward behind it. Cause it is. It's easy. So far, so good. The only challenging is the background, which I already showed you that trick, remember, when you thin it out. Now, I spot it so it can be even. Let me see if it's even this way. Okay. I don't want to paint it to the left. Um, it's not my strong pawn. I like to paint to the right, but not to the left. So this pawn, I will tell Becky to turn the hand over. Can you turn the hand over, Becky? Thank you. Now... Paint it to the right. That is my favorite angles. I'm sure some of you can relate. Most of you can relate. Cause most people they have one favorite side and one unfavored size. Um, mine is from left to right. It's my favorite angles. My not favorite angle is from right to left. I'm sure for most right-handed people can relate it to that. But in rare case, there's people that find with um, either ways. Freak of natures. It's perfectly fine. And, and I feel like once you get to the point where you at least put that thought of what direction you're going with it, it actually changes it because right. until you <laughs> mentioned it, you, you, you automatically want to paint like you're right. Right. For us normal peoples, we only have one angles. That's normal, people. Yeah. Let's flash clear this. Since art gel, milky art gel is semi transparent, you can definitely flash clear it. And it will be totally safe to flash clear. Now, it's time for us to draw the stomach, which is why I use in milky art gel, because I can do this. See what I'm doing here? It's outrageous. Using the gel pen, I will have the audacity to make it thick. I'm using milky art gel. 
There you go, honey. There you go. Okay. Not too thick. Not like build a gel. You know, not like 3D jelly. But still, a decent volume. See that? You cannot do that with a typical gel pen. And you definitely cannot do that with gel polish. Because it's going to chip up. It's going to wrinkle on you. But Milky Art Gel is semi-transparent. So you can do that. Okay, after that, we're going to chrome. So let's chrome this one first. I will cure it for 60 seconds. Yes, it looks like a beautiful pearl. Okay. Now, my mermaid chrome, I'm using rose mermaid chrome. I'm attracted to this color tone. I will apply this on. I need a shadow applicator. And I want to keep the background clean, so I am putting the paper towel underneath to catch all the chrome dust. This is so much better to watch over here in live instead of watching on the TV. Yeah. What did you say that was? This is Rose Mermaid Chrome. Oh, oh. let's drop it out a little bit. Mermaid. Yes. That explains it. It has to be a little extra. Oh, I need a new one. You need a new tab? Yeah, this, I need a new sticky tab. There you go. Mm -hmm. There, much better. This uh, shadow applicator, it takes a little long for me to apply. Sometimes shadow applicator give you issue, you just change into like a fingers. Yeah, I can take a finger and do this. Glove fingers. A glove fingers. That. Sometimes certain chrome shadow applicator give you issues, so you just use that. See that? Mm -hmm. Using the fingers. Or silicone. I'll show you several options. There's a spot right there. That right. a little difficult. I use the ultimate tool. My finger. There you go. Just for you to understand, sometimes certain chrome it needs certain tool. But my finger is always my favorite tool. Well, what if they don't have your finger at home? If they don't have my finger at home, they can um they can spy on me. And, when and I'm gonna I, tell you what I don't think I, I really think it is your finger. Yeah, it's my fingers. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm serious. I don't think like my my dry crusty. See fingers. how easy it is. It's my fingers. It's my magic fingers. It's your soft, beautiful, perfect skin is what it is. So whenever you have. Um, problem with tools like if you use the shadow applicators uh, but on certain chrome it's difficult to stick on you just have to change your tool like this you can use that you can use this or you can use a finger with gloves it just depends but my finger always guarantees 100% success Uh, but you can spy on me and put some uh, mold around my fingers. 
and uh, that way you can have my fingers. You can have oh right. Liz wants to know if we're going to give a hit about what's in the mystery box. No, no too mystery, late. It's going to sold out tomorrow. A mystery box. Okay, next next time we'll do unmystery box and then. Yeah, it's sold out tomorrow. It doesn't matter because it's going to sold out. There's some uh, chrome that. Uh, Stuck in on the background because I apply two tin up layers. Mm -hmm. So I have to remove this, the paper towels. When I apply top coat, uh, Teflon matte, I should apply a thicker layers. Oh, she said not the box. She wants to know about the new products. When do they get to know about that? Yeah. Uh, this is the first product. Oh, so it's happening right now. Mm -hmm. And that's why this was an emergency. Got it. So it's happening right now, Lens. But you only get one at a time. So you have to stay with us for the next 24 emergency light designs. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm really blown away at how that, that really pulls such an opal, opalescent look to it. Now, it's time to outline this dragonfly with uh, pixie gel. Let's top coat this first. Make sure that all dust is gone before I top coat. I'm using shanded top coat. Make sure you watch out for your size so it's not too thick on the side. Remove some extra top coat on the side to keep the shape nice and sharp. Here, this dragonfly, I have on top coat the chrome. Background is already matte, but the chrome, I haven't top coated yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put pixie gel around it. Mm -hmm, silver pixie gel. This looks so, so doable. I'm like itching over here. I so may, far, this is very easy. I may try one here in a little bit because I feel like anyone could do this. Yeah, so far, I just put on some milky art gel and then I just chrome that. I have a little issue with the background, a little bit of chrome stuck to the background because I have light too thin of a layer of Teflon matte. So make sure you don't apply it too thin. Okay, so what I do, I outline around the wings and the body with pick silver pixie gel. And then I'm just gonna top coat the inside of the chrome. That way I don't have to matte everything again. Also bring a little more definition and volume to it. I'm using the 10 millimeter painting brush by the way. Here it is. Double check, make sure it's look right. Okay. Mm. 
now. I am gonna use clear texture gel. It's just arrived Wednesday. It's arrived Wednesday. Clear texture gel. Got this guy have been sold out so quick and at show too. They what happened was you sold out at the show and then bam, they, they all bought it up online. Yeah, texture gel. Uh, we have a, a weak crisis on texture gel. It's been wiped out online and at show, but it's already arrived. Uh, Pigment base still sold out, but it's on its way, and hopefully it's here in like in like five days. I have to increase my volume uh, order on pigment base also. Okay, I apply clear texture gel around the body, and I am gonna beat the body using beat. Happy and they don't know it, but this is the first time seeing the nails you've done because we uh, had <clears throat> he had me doing a bunch of other things while he was doing this. We were multi dividing and conquering, and I only see one nail set. They're all just fantastically beautiful and very achievable. I only see one that that will be a struggle for some. It's a it's a Mystic Mountain with the owls. Yeah, yeah, this one right here. Mystic Mountain, yeah. That that one, but that doesn't mean I'm just looking at it visually. That doesn't mean that your phenomenal teaching skills won't get them there easy. I can train them to do that, but it wouldn't be ready to wear. It would be uh, semi uh, creative. Ooh, I can't wait. <clears throat> They're gonna really love this one. Yeah. Don't let them talk you into no sneak peeks. No sneak peek, no honey. Sneak peeks. Uh, today I will save the first live, but I, um, I'm not gonna save all the live at once because I need like it to be consistent on my page. <clears throat> so I'm gonna save one. I'm gonna post one live per day. Uh, tonight I might do like five, six live. I don't know, but I'm gonna save one live per day. So tomorrow I post a second live, and then day after tomorrow I post a third live. So my page more consistent. It's not like I have been six live posts and then it's gonna be stagnant for well, two weeks. Quick question: Are those point zero eight millimeters? Yeah, this is point zero six. Point zero oh, six. Oh, um, point zero eight, the smallest one. The small one is point A or point six. I forgot. Point six. It's a small one. Point six millimeters. Okay, I hear this. But you know, just just to keep them on their toes. This point eight. This point six. Point eight is bigger. Because because now they'll be like, oh, we don't have to watch now. We can catch it later. You should throw this option out there. Two of the lives are not going to be saved, so you okay. won't know. Now, it's time for Bubble Gems. Um, I am using... First, I'm using white uh, AB first. Okay, I'm using white, and then I'm going to use Ghost Light, which uh, this, these two doesn't have foil backing. Let's have the white out first for the eyes. We're gonna use crystal magic glue. Oh wait, I have uh, to outline it too. I forgot to outline it. Where's my pixie gels? Outline this
Okay, good. I want to make sure that I can see on the sides. And then I'm going to fill the rest in down here. You mean from different angles? Well, on the side, it might look really thick. But when you look it straight ahead, it's thinness because the nail is curved. So if you just apply one thin line right here, then when you turn it, it disappear. Oh, yeah. So that's why I need to make sure people can see it by staring right at it. They can still see the line. It's very crucial whenever, especially you're making uh, social media content, they have to be able to see the frame. See, on the side, it might look really thick, but when you turn and look straight at it, it's very thin just because of the curvature of the nail. So you have to understand the curvature of the nail. See that? Now it's beautiful, nice and light. So make sure that don't just stare at it on the side and make one thin line. Because then when you stare at it, straight at it, it disappear. Now the cuticle are different though. The cuticle does no curve. It doesn't curve down. So you just need one thin line on the cuticle. That's it. Only start pay attention when they start curving. So you want to make sure your brush is <clears throat> filled, but not overfilled. Uh, I'm not mean the thickness like, like, like volume. I'm mean the thickness like uh, like the wide, the width, width, the width. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See this cuticle line is very thin. See that, but this side is very thick, on the width. But when you stare right at it, everything is cohesive. Okay, so you have to understand the curvature of the nail. Here. And then we will use crystal magic glue to put on the gems. And you call that clear one ghost? Ghost light. So in the bubble gem kit, all of this have backing. Okay, the white have backing. It's beautiful. Meaning it's solid. Now, these two are... You can see the background because it doesn't have the backing, which can be very fun too. Because when you put this on, you can see through it. So I'm going to use a ghost light, darker version. And then this is AB, okay, AB or ghost light. I am going to use crystal magic glue for this. Oh, balls are fun. It's, like you can really do it's my favorite. Just because one thing about these uh, bubble gems is that you can apply top coat over it. So when it comes to securing it, it's no problem. That's why I love it so much because it's easy to secure it. Gonna put some crystal magic glue on here and I am gonna take out my bubble gems, my white bubble gems. I'm gonna chew a decent size. Hmm. Probably this one. I need to find another one, same size. Okay. You said she can't wait for hers to get there. Listen, if you like gemstones and yeah. crystal balls and that kind of stuff, you're just gonna fall in love with these things. Yeah, I love the bubble gem. I mean, I use it like a lot. Well, when you really look, look at that, them, how can you not love this? Look at that. Well, it's just like it's like the this whole room is just condensed down into that cute little thing. See that? The reflection. I have the and, eyes. Now it's time to use ghost light. Um, okay, so the story about the bubble gem is if you buy each jar from Dreamtime Creation, it's cost ten dollars a jar. Like if you buy like a pink jar, like one of these, it's cost ten dollars. One of these is cost ten dollars. So if you buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten color, it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars. But on a wheel like this, I put each jar into each space on the wheel. On the wheel is thirty nine dollar, I believe. So this is a still. A still. Yeah, Cindy. A still of a deal. A still is uh, when Cindy told me this is a still. Just special because Fortino is special. But so buy separately on Dream Time is more be exclusive in a one time deal. Then. Yeah. Oh. This is a um the favor that Cindy have done for me is to make it um reasonable pricing for my audience. 
Latino fa uh, favor. Good. Damn, you said every stone came back secure and in place. I'm being impressed, I know, right? Mm hmm. So, when I put a ghost light on this, is what the ghost light look like. Look at that. So, when I put it on, I can see the um, rose mermaid background. I can't wait till Christmas. Whoa, Halloween. No, I mean, I'm talking about ornament. Oh. Because these are ornament-like. I was thinking a witch hover, hovering over a crystal ball. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I see your vision. I don't know, there's just such a... It, it's, it's like a gazing ball in a way. It's just so... Okay, now, be aware of this. Hold on, let me put my bubble gem in and then I told you what to be aware of. They're like a moonstone. And they just, they kind of catch a whole array and variety of... Be aware of this. Before I draw this dragonfly, I have put Teflon mat on so the background is secure with Teflon mat. And then I put milky art gel when I chrome this. The chrome haven't been secure yet. Pixie gel, I put around this. So pixie gel is already here and done. So my mission right now is to secure this chrome, okay? I have pixie gel around this. So I just need to apply top coat right here and I'm good. So top coat, take it out. Shine it. apply see this whole body right here make sure that you smash it with top coat that also will secure the little bead too then secure the wing let me zoom in so make sure you know what I'm doing here I don't just apply on the chrome, I apply on the pixie gel too. That way the chrome is well concealed. Like that. Oh, hi Kirsty. Hi Kirsty. I met Kirsty at Orlando's. I was over the moon. Kirsty say, um, who wouldn't like you, Tino? You're so <laughs> cute. <laughs> oh, from Kirsty! Which I can record it. So I can save it as a trophy. But I didn't. I do it next year. Well, I record sure. her voice. There'll, there'll be more times to meet. Kirsty have a British voice. Mm -hmm. it's sec a sexy British voice. Beautiful. Okay. See the size? Even though the gem cover most of the size, I'm still gonna add in just a little bit right here. Just for caution. Just in case I have a little bit of chrome left, I want to make sure that it's nicely sealed. Then I'm good. Here. Alright, now I decide to add a little embossed line for the dragonfly. A little fun fun. We My, have not decided on San Antonio yet. San Antonio show? Not yet. Oh! Oh! Oh, thanks God. I almost forgot this crucial step. I have a purple aura on the background. See, that's one thing about the light. Sometimes I miss out little details. So, let's add our aura on. We need matted. Matted is used to stick to pigment too. Okay. What difference between matted and pigment base is matted is clear. So you can get a chance to still see the background, but you can apply pigment on too. So kill two birds with one stone. Incidentally, put mat it on, and then you are so much. Ten seconds. You panic. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. 
Okay, so I already partially clear matted. Now I'm gonna apply my purple pigment on. Now I'm mad it's a little more smoother, so I might not need to use the uh, the thinning agent on the pigment. Using my pigment brush. Thank you, Kirsty. Oh, and Lux, those uh, I guess Simba, those 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 adorable little cat nails were so spot on. I was really yeah. proud of those. I messed luck at the uh, show too. Okay, see that? You have to establish the uh, aura first. Now it's time to blend. Remember, heavy hand people, remember this. Always do this. Just to make sure that the brush, the pigment in the brush is light. Now when it comes to blending, matted, have no problem. Look at that. Just a velvety surface. Look at how evenly is blend out to perfection see I already say to perfection so I have to make sure that it's perfect <laughs> no room for her right Cause if it's not perfect people oh Tina you just say it's gonna be perfect <laughs> make sure it's perfect <coughs> see that see the bottom perfect Now I still have the top though. Okay, the bottom's done. Perfection, now the top. Becky, can you turn your hand over for me, please? Thank you. Okay, let's do the top too. Make sure very light amount of pigment on your brush. Blend it out, blend it out. There you go. Now finesse it until it's perfect. On the side. On here, on the side. So if you're a little bit weak in pigments, you can use matted. Even in color or everything like that, you can still use matted. It's a little more forgiving when it comes to aura effect. So you don't have to be a master pigment to uh, utilize it. I, I, I think a hard concept to get through for, for some of us, anyway, mm -hmm. or even a lot of us, is the fact that you need to take more time spreading less. Yeah. And and still, if you still need help, okay, I will pretend that I need help. Put some white on, mix it with a little purple. Remember, the white will disappear. And what's left is a nice, even layer of purple. So all the tool is out here to help you. All the tool is there. To help you accomplish what you want. See that? Don't be distracted by the chalkiness. You have to understand what you're using. Now, dust it. Okay, cure for about 40 seconds because you only cured it for 10 seconds so you continue curing. While I'm waiting for that, let's figure out what to do with this nail. We got two oval on both sides so I will return the balance for the set by applying pink all over it. I can either do that or I can do something even more brilliant. What? Like, let me think of something brilliant. I'm trying to think of something brilliant. Uh, silver pixie gels. Apply all over, and then we're gonna pink ombre it. Oh, honey, you scared me for a minute. Why? Well, because you're like, something brilliant. Something started. brilliant. Yeah, and I thought and, you had an idea for no, sure, and no. then you did. So no, like, I pre-commit. I'd be like, something brilliant, and then I have to think about something brilliant. Oh, my goodness. The yeah. pressure. Yeah, uh, that's shoot. That is absolute pressure. Is this how you've been doing everything last few days? Just, just, oh. That's how I've been doing everything from day one, ten oh. years ago. 
always adding pressure to myself. It all makes sense. Then. A pre-promise of something brilliant, and then the deliver after. Kill this. Well, you keep coming through, so I guess it's okay. Okay, I already finished killing this. Now I'm applying the shined it on. Okay. Shine the top coat, apply it on. See, even with this alone, this is a money maker alone by itself. I was thinking that just like right before you stuck it in the line, I'm like, you get stopped right there. There's no people. look. Even this, look when I apply on top coat on. See that? David, Your client will absolutely eat this up by itself without any design or anything like that. See, there is a money maker alone just by itself right here. Opal with aura, uh, with a pigment aura. You cannot hate this look. <laughs> See that? Oh, and then the purple pigment are uh, sheer through the background. So behind it is a nice opal uh, peeking through the purple pigment. Mm. That's almost a tongue. But of course, Tino have to make it crazy. So let's apply some pink on it too. After we cure. Okay, so we have this right here. Okay, now I am going to apply pink on here to uh, give it the set a uh, balance. Is that chrome on top of the aura? Yes, it is rose mermaid chrome. One of my favorite shades. I just love rose mermaid chrome. I love all my other mermaid chrome, but rose... Uh, I find a safe play with rose. Safe yeah, it's it's a common colors. It's not too pink. It's not too silver. It's not too orange. It's like everything in between. It's not too purples. Okay, I need my ombre brush, which is very popular. <laughs> Ah, uh, so you know everybody loved you know new ombre brush, the full ombre brush. Desiree informed me that's a lot of order on ombre brush. I'll use that to blend this out. Okay, stop. Okay, don't go crazy. Stop and clean your brush. Wipe it, and then keep going. Don't go up here. You have no business going up here Business. yeah <laughs> down here continue your ombre this doesn't get old no matter how many time I demonstrate it okay now stop okay clean your brush make sure it's free of gel and then you continue and if it's too dry you dip some top coat in see I have some top coat right here you dip it in your brush Wiggle it out so it's not too much top coat. So nails and hair, uh, every brush Tino will ever get for the rest of his life will always be acetone resistant. Yes. I don't think he could stand it any yeah. other way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't like brushes that are not acetone resistant because then I'm stuck with using like alcohol or like clean it with top coat and I wouldn't have it. I would not have it cure this because then it's so slow to clean it. I need it to be fast. Okay, now I am gonna add pink gel colors. Hot pink gel colors, sorry. Hot pink gel colors. I'm gonna match this. Okay. So I need to clean my brush first and pour this out on the palette. Now, to match it, I'm going to have Becky put her fingers side by side and make sure the tip, the bottom tip, is aligned. Okay. Then I'm going to mark it really quick before I move. I'm going to mark the distance right here. And then the end right about here. And then kind of curve into about right here and then down. Okay. After I mark that, I can take it off. 
free Becky Hen. Free Becky Hen. Okay, now let's paint it a, a sway lines. And then we're gonna emboss it with clear acrylic. The fun part. I'm slightly shaky. I just uh, feel that slightly shaky from excitement. Mm. Do you know when the 10 and 20 millimeter brush will be back in stock? So the 10 millimeter painting brush is in and the 20 millimeter brush will be uh, available online. Um, what is a day after tomorrow, doesn't? Oh, I, do, uh, I have no idea. The day after tomorrow, uh, it will be I don't online. Know what today is. Friday, Saturday, so Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. Sunday, the 20 millimeter brush will be online. I'm having single brush so people can uh, select a specific brush they use so they don't trap with two heads. And then Jamie was wanting to know the difference, which is... The different on the brush? Yeah. Oh, no, I just, just the difference is a name, that's all. Cool names. But it's uh, 10 millimeters. It'll be the same as the 10 millimeter you used before. Um, the body is slightly stronger, but that's just about yeah. it. So it, it See, her can... question was way up here. I didn't want to bother your yeah. instructions, but what she was asking was the difference between the, the old and the new tip. Yeah, it's, it's, ve it's very Which much the same. You just have one end to deal with now. Yeah. The um, the body I make it stronger because I use it a lot, so I make it stronger. Here's so beside lining, I can use it for textures and three D uh, element and all that. It's strong enough to whip all that uh, builder gel element on. So she's the same. Just uh, no, 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 no. New ombre. New ombre is better, not the same. The new ombre is better than the old ombre. Yeah. New ombre is customer favorite right now. They like it better than the old ombre. Because just beside ombre, it can do like uh, gel marbling. It can scoop on gel and all that. So the new ombre is everybody's favorite. Okay, now. I am going to pour acrylic on. Where is my acrylic? And where is my spoon? Website down. Okay. Let's pour it on. Make sure you don't stop pouring until it completely pack. You want it to be completely packed with acrylic so it lasts a long time. And after I'm pouring this on, I'm gonna dust this. And when you dust it, if it's much, that means you not pack it well enough. So keep pulling it on. Okay, I'm gonna dust it now. Ready? See that? You have to be able to dust it. Okay, then you can cure this. Now. Let's see this guy. The what? 
whenever whenever you're down to the final dusting, you want to lightly lightly dust it. Yeah, you want to lightly dust it. You, it looks aggressive. No, you a proper brush for it. Okay, let's see this guy. Um, more pink, maybe another layers, just so you can completely cover the pixie gel. Let me show you. It's well covered, but mm, I just want another layer just to make sure that it's all pink. No pixie gel allowed here. So the transition will be cool, like from solid pink to glitters. Well, you promised us brilliant, if I remember correctly. Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> okay. It's already looked like some things. Now, <laughs> let me think about this. I have purple. Maybe I should add purple up down up here. That would be fun too. But let's uh, go on with another gel color, another hot pink gel colors. Okay, so this live will be saved immediately tonight, but any other live will be saved tomorrow and then the day after. One, one live a day. So I have content to post while I'm away. That's why, uh, that's why my Tino Voda shop page, it will have even content, consistent content. I like to have at least something every day. Cause lately it, it been uh, inconsistent. Like, like I will post eight live a day and then I'll be stagnant for like a week or two. So I wanted to have content every day. Add another top coat. Okay, after that, I'm gonna put purple pigment up here. Kill this. La, 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 la. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clean everything. And we will jump into another design. See what my next one is. I'm gonna do this next. Super easy too. Oh, look at all the raindrop too. Ah, uh, this one I call Opal Moon. So this one I call uh, um, Opal Dragonfly. But if you can think of a cool name for me, I will appreciate it. So far. What I got is Opal Dragonfly. Born names. So you can think of something cute for me. Like a like a pink pink wings or something like that. Pink magic. Okay. And use the other side. Oh, let me zoom in so you can see. And then lightly down. Okay. And then I'll show you a trick that I use again. Just to make a uh, it even better. Okay, you can go to about here. And then, I mean, it already looked really good, but you can make it better by applying low white super pigment. This is not the pressed pigment because the pressed white pigment are solid. The white super pigment are a thinning agent. See that? Now it's like chalky purple.
now apply on top like that okay so this what uh, this mixture have white pigment and purple pigment and when I let's dust this when I put top coat on shine the top coat then the white wood disappear and all slab is a beautiful purple ombre it's like a magic trick yeah i i uh when i first started i love to use the white to thin out because sometimes i do have issue with uh like airbrush blending make sure that it's beautiful so people with um a heavy handed gonna have issue with it and that is a trick that you can do you can mix white into purple so to separate the purple particle make the purple particle lighter what do you think of this name dragonfly this, oh, you dragonfly what dragonfly daydream daydream i like daydream dragonfly. it don't have to even be a dragonfly like a pink dream like a pink daydream I like daydream. I'm just not sure if it fully describes this set. Pink daydream. I like that. Oh, flutters. Flutters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like flutters. Flutters. I like flutters. Flutter dreams. Flutter, but yeah, not flutters, not bro. like creepy flutters. Not like moth flutters. Moths are creepy flutter. When there's too many of them, and it's in a strange place, like not outside, but like in your closet. Yeah, strange places. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I I can go further, mm, or not? It's up to me. Mm, this is beautiful just by itself. I can add some um purple gem on if I want to be, but I don't want to. Okay. Remember, we're doing salon easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Cause this is too pretty for me to do anything to it. Aurora flutters. That I like that too. Aurora flutter. See, sometimes I have to hold myself back just a little bit right. to preserve the elegantness because it's just a helping fingers. The main finger is here. It can be guardy on just the main fingers, and semi guardy on the uh the one that uh, around it. But let's leave the pinky just like that. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Besides, we're under emergency conditions. Just for a little uh, classy, you know. Little, 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 little sassy. Little sass with a little class. So maybe the next video we'll start it off with a beep. This is an emergency live broadcast. Maybe. Okay, first set down. Now let's do second set. So I am gonna get up here, take a picture so um, for me to post, and then get right back on right back second on. set. I wish that tonight I can do the whole board. Cause Who I have, knows? Yeah, cause I have four more. It may be a super marathon. We'll just go until you can't go no more. I have four more. One, two, three. Four more board. So. First down. Okay, I will get up here now, you guys. And I am going to uh, be about three to five minutes posting this. And then get right back on... Uh, same thing. We're not gonna use our big page this time. We just use our small page um, Because we're gonna repost on YouTube later anyway, so just a small page uh, I'm just gonna hang out with small page audience this time and one screen Cut you know, I'm not dressing up my hair is crazy right now. I'm in You're full work Okay, bye-bye everyone. I will see you in just a little bit